Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video! Today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how you can use a character generator to create your own characters, but also how you can use this tool in order to create characters expressions like this. So let's get started! Okay, so the character generator is a powerful tool that is available since RPG Maker Envy that can be found inside your toolbar at the top right over here. If you click on this, you got all those really cool tools and presets that you can use to modify and basically build your own characters that you would like to use as enemies, antagonists, protagonists inside your game, whatever. And what is really really cool about RPG Maker MZ is that unlike the MV one, there is a lot of stuff available to us here, so we can have definitely a lot of fun with this. Now, I'm not gonna cover every single options that you can or cannot make with the tool because, well, that will just take too long and honestly, it's very, very straightforward. All you have to do is click on a variation leader of the face, you select a color, and then you go to the next asset, which in this case will be the front air, the hairs, and you also have the offset, which will basically move the asset that you're currently selecting either to the right, the left more you can also like let me change your the air so you can see exactly what i'm talking about with this so you can also go up or down with those assets so basically it allows you to create aberrations if you'd like to <laughs> but sometimes yeah it's always good to be able to readjust a little bit the heroes and stuff of your characters Okay, so now that you're pleased with your character, what you need to do is determine what will be the standard face of this particular character. What is the face that she does most of the time without really demonstrating any emotion? Once you're satisfied with the face that you have, what you're gonna need to do is go inside the face image and export this particular image, which I'm gonna call face A. All right. Now it's important to understand what you're looking for as emotions for that particular character. There's a lot of emotions from happiness, anger, sadness, surprise that your characters can have and demonstrate through your facial expression. I always remember that body language is the biggest part of human's communication, so it's very easy for your players to understand what emotion the character is showing simply by using the right image. For instance, if I was looking to make our character angry, now there's three things that I need to modify. First, the eyebrows, which needs to be a lot more angrier. I can also use the offset to make them lower, which is really, really great. Now, the eyes needs to be a little bit more tense. Maybe that's not bad. Is there anything better than this? Oh, that's good. I really like this one. And the last one is the mouth. The mouth is also very, very important to demonstrate what kind of emotion your character is going through. So this one is really, really great. So right now we can see clearly that this character is angry at something. So that's perfect. Now, once again, I'm going to go inside my face image, export it and call it face B. And you're gonna need to do this up to 8 times depending on how many emotions you want your character to display throughout the game. So just bear with me a moment while I do this. Alright, now that you have selected all your hate faces for that character, you will need a tool to be able to edit those inside one sheet. Now, I personally use Adobe Photoshop, a whole version of it. If you don't have money for Photoshop, you can always use GIMP or other editors to, that allows you to modify images. There's a lot out there, so just make a quick Google search. You'll be able to find one in no time. Okay, 
the first thing you will need to do now is to create a new file which is going to be of size 576 by 288 there you go now this is the exact file format that you need to be able to store eight faces inside RPGMZ. Now, if I select my little tool here, which is a grid, and I'm gonna just modify hit my preferences so that it will fill it will fit multiple images, so that it will fit perfectly with faces. So it is a grid. I'm pretty sure that I can do. Let's see. There we go. All right. So the did size and pixel shall be 144. Great. Now we have a perfect grid. Now that we have our empty sheet ready to accept every single faces, what we're going to need to do is open each one of our faces that we previously saved. So I'm just going to open all of them. And from there, I'll be easily able to select one of my one of my images perfectly. I'm going to copy paste it inside my first image and from there I'm gonna move it perfectly inside one of those eight square and I'm just gonna repeat the same process for each one of those images so make sure you select it perfectly copy paste and just place it at the right spot there you go so bear with me while I'm doing this And that's it. Now that we have all our layers inside one file, we're able to save that file inside RPG Major MZ. So under faces, make sure to select the right format, which is .png for RPG Major MZ. And then just give it an appropriate name. If you have the name of your character, then just name it that. Otherwise, like, I'm just gonna give it the name uh, green haired female. And click on save. Okay, there we go. So now if I go back inside my RPG Major MZ, click on a new event, try to show text, face, I have green hair female, and I'm able to select one of her hate expressions. So that's it. That's it for this week's video. So that's how you can use the character generator in order to create your own characters, but also their own facial expressions. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave some comments, and I'll see you in another video. Bye! Okay, bye!